Knowing how to make a visual advertisement for your products can save you a lot of money. Instead of hiring someone to do it for you, you just make it yourself. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a 2D motion graphics ad in a very simple way that does not take longer than 5 minutes to make. So, first of all, I picked the product of Prime as an example. I never tried it to be honest and no, I'm not a sellout for them. The first thing you have to do is download the pictures that present your product. Make sure they are PNG and if they have background, you can remove that background simply in Photoshop. Import the images that you have to Photoshop. Go to the window menu and click on contextual taskbar. Click on remove background and the software will automatically remove any background that your product image might have. If it overdoes it, select your new layer and click on add to mask. You can zoom in and restore the parts that were removed like this. Then redo this to the other images as well if you're showcasing more than one image. And once you're done, export what you have as PNG. Now download the background song for your ad and the key is to sync your motion graphics and your transitions with a song that you have. You can find free to use songs online with different genres. I have this as an example, I took it from Pixabay to be honest. Open up Adobe Premiere and import the background music alongside the PNG images that we exported from Photoshop. You can trim down your background music and maybe choose the part where the ad should stop, like right here. You can also add the reverb effect at the end of the part of the song you chose. Simply cut the very last segment of the song and nest it. Double click on it and here in the nested sequence, hit Alt and drag the audio clip up or down to duplicate it. Expand the duplicated clip and mute it. Now expand the nested sequence on your timeline. Go to the effects, drag the studio reverb onto the nested sequence. Click on edit in the effect controls and choose the great hall preset. Now you have a great reverb effect at the end of the song instead of an awkward sudden stop. Now onto the 2D motion graphics side of things, there are many ways to go about this. The way I would do it is, like I said, we will try to sync the movement of the product images with the beat that we have. You can be creative with this, maybe drink a cup of coffee and think about how the images should move on the screen. I will give you a few ideas that can help you. First, drag your image and make it last alongside the first wave of the beat, if that makes sense. Drag the audio track a bit to expand it so you can see better. Go to the effect controls and drag your image all the way to the left. Keyframe the start position, then go to the end of your clip and drag the image so it appears on the screen. It might not look as smooth as we want it, so to fix this, Select both keyframes by hitting shift and clicking on them. Then right click with the mouse and ease them in. Expand this arrow right here and drag this blue line to the left like this to make the motion as smooth as possible. And as you can see it looks good. Now let's add a little rotational movement to our bottle. Go to the position of the clip and hit the stopwatch of the rotation. Leave it to zero. Go back to the start and change the value to something like 10 degrees maybe. Ease both keyframes in. And now let's add our second image. Same thing, sync it with the second wave of the beat. We wanna have the same movement as the first image but the bottle has to come from the right. Do the exact same thing but for the opposite side. Make the start rotation keyframe minus 10 degrees and then keyframe the end position to be zero should have this animation going on for the next two flavors i will copy the same movement from the first two again you can be creative about this and this is just an example to show you how to use the position keyframes and the rotation keyframe settings to make a nice 2d animation of your product anyways drag the third image onto the timeline right click your first image and then click on copy. Right click your third image and click on paste attributes. Click OK. And as you can see we have the same animation going on for our third image. For the fourth image, the same thing. 
Copy and paste the attributes of the second image. For the background, click on New Item, Color Matte, select this tool and then click on your product to copy its exact color. I'll do this for every clip I have. The second one for the red color, third one for the sky blue color and then the last one the purple color. Then we'll move all of these layers to the top like this and we'll add a white color background. Click on new item, color matte and choose a white color. Drag it on the timeline. Now select the first colored matte and position it all the way to the right. Click on the stopwatch and then at the end of the clip position it all the way to the left. Ease the keyframes in. Same thing for the second product image but the other way around. Then for the third and fourth one you can basically just copy and paste the attribute for the first and the second one. Then select all four of the colored backgrounds that you have and nest them together. Go to the effects panel and drag the Gaussian blur effect in. Then change its value to 50. Now you have a nice reveal animation presenting four flavors, somewhat in a hypnotizing way, while showcasing a lot of colors like the yellowish, green, and red and blue colors that grab the brain's attention. Now let's time the zoom in and zoom out keyframes with the beat. For my case, let's add a zoom in here. Click on the stopwatch for the start position. Click again on the stopwatch when the drum hits. Scale up your image a little bit. Add the smoothness to the animation with the ease in option. Drag the blue line all the way to the left to make this wave. Go one frame forward from your last keyframe and hit the scale stopwatch again. Go to the end of your clip and reset the value of the scaling to have this nice zoom out effect. Again ease the animation in. Add your other flavors to the mix and copy and paste the attributes onto them. You can mess with the keyframes as well and the effect controls for each one of them. To make them match with the audio beat and sync with it perfectly. For the background you can be more creative than me but I added a white background. You can just add some fruits flying around in the background for example. I added each color that relates to the flavor each time in a different direction. You can open up the save margins to help you position the color layers perfectly. So for the lime color, move to the left for example and have its edge touch the middle lane like this. The red one, the opposite direction. The blue color at the top lane and the purple colored background at the bottom of the screen. Again, I came with this in just 5 minutes of creative thinking. You can come up with different cool animations using the tools I showed you. For the last segment, let's add the four flavors to our timeline. Position each picture at a different time on the timeline if that makes sense. Copy the movement of the first image onto the other images. Then nest each picture and give it a name of the color you have. And then move the nested sequence either to the right or the left so it looks something like this. Then add a white background. Now let's cut the nested sequence when the drop is about to hit. Cut them all like this and then nest them together. Again, we'll try to sync the animation with the song. In the effect controls, keyframe the scale option and go forward a bit. Scale the nested sequence up. Then go one frame forward and then hit the stopwatch again. Go to the end of the clip and scale it down. Then add the Gaussian blur effect to this nested sequence. Keyframe the blur to start around when the zoom out is about to happen. Then go a little bit forward and change the volume to 50. Now add whatever slogan you have of your product. I'll simply add Prime as an example. Then add a dissolve transition to it. Also fade out the bottle nested sequence right before the reverb happens. And the last segment should look something like this. So yeah, for a 2D motion graphic ad, as a beginner, you can use the scaling, positioning, and the rotation keyframes to animate your product images, and you can also mess with the background colors to sort of add a cool touch and hypnotize the viewers, cause that's kinda what you're trying to do when you're selling a product. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to watch this next tutorial.